When last we saw our heroes, they were finishing clearing the old Rock Seeker mine and took down the rogue wizard named Ayano, uh, who seemed to be running things to someone called the Raven. After some close calls and claps roof shenanigans, the party got the mine back for Gundren, and now it was time to start reaping their rewards. Yeah, so it's more who would have been keeping an eye out and... Uh... Okay, yeah. Can you make can you make the perception roll? Because you would have been the first to have the possibility of seeing what was going on. You do, you do. You pick it up when it's a very, very small spot on the uh, on the horizon. But basically, <laughs> you uh, you spot a. Uh, uh, well, at first, when you first spot it, it looks like a uh, like a cloud, like a rain cloud in the distance. Um, but as uh, as you get closer, and way before any of these other guys pick it up, you you're pretty sure that looks like that's a a building, a tower, floating in the sky on the back of a cloud. And you could swear it had like a wizard's hat on the top of the thing. At a jaunty angle, which is a bit strange. But yeah, um, about a minute later, you see a um, uh, you see a pair of feet start to des descend and some large purple robes as something starts to float down from above. And uh, yeah, for most of you, this will be the first time that you've actually seen a a, a giant of any form, but uh, a, uh, uh, a, a one with its hair made of wisps of... Uh, of cloud uh, in these long purple robes to uh, slowly descend from the from the upper floor and land uh, uh, land on the uh, on the ground floor in front of you guys and uh, yeah he basically uh, says uh, uh, ah welcome welcome I assume you're the uh, little ones that I've been waiting for there's been a great change amongst my people something that governs how we are controlled or our place in society has been shattered, broken. It's called the Ordening. And this ha having happened is causing great rifts amongst my people. I am trying to find ways to solve this problem. And one of the ways to solve it was to find you. I have been sent here to bring you to a place in the north that you may be able to do good and help. In the company of a cloud giant, and I need to know if trusting him is a wise course of action. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you get a positive reaction back for that on that front. Yeah, and that's that, and that's all Vassar needs. He'll pick up the his his um, divining swords, um, uh, and he'll place them back in the bag of holding, and he'll uh, head inside, much yeah. more at ease. Yep. So as you uh, as you're packing up and you're uh, starting to do all of that, can you make another perception check for me? Yes. Here's hoping that it's better than the first one because mm -hmm. that one wasn't very good at all. Seventeen, yeah. So, um, you spot in the distance um, uh, uh, what looks like a a tiny silver speck of light for a moment, and um, yeah, you see it sweeping closer, and it, it dawns on you whatever it is is large, winged, and silver, and it's coming this way. Uh, it's at you this point the the, the the others of you you now hear start hearing the flapping of uh, of very large wings as if something is coming. Uh, that's says flying yeah, quickly. Yeah, you, towards, you, have to, yeah. you have to say a minute quick. Rita, we don't have time. <laughs> There's something incoming. We gotta tell Zephyroth here. Just will yourself up. That's Wait, what you're what, gonna do. What, what was it? What's coming? I will myself up. Uh, yeah, Walks yeah. forward. And um, that's this guy on the right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. This. Uh, the guy on the right uh, gets uh, gets netted. Um, Briggs is done. Then uh, you're familiar, Bigby. Bacow! Bacow! 
you know, giving Briggs an advantage. Is that what an owl sound is? Hoot! Hoot! <laughs> many, many, many hoots. Uh, pretty much. Uh, no the, um, the guy in the actual thing <clears> will try... Is it strength check to break the net? I'm assuming it is. Yeah, it's an action to use his strength, which is DC 10. Okay. So, yeah, he rips the... Uh, Rips the net and uh, has freed himself on that a, front. He's got to make a dex saving throw for, for the grease. Yes. But he's already used his action to attack, so he can't even attack. But he's fine. No, no, he's so fine. He, and he ba uh, basically gets his way through and out the out the grease. Um, and then only the first uh, the first couple that got got to Briggs first will actually, um, yeah, especially the one that got netted, uh, will take a. Uh, well, the guy who got netted cannot make an attack this turn against him. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So he's uh, he, he's out of the uh, uh, the equation. So the first one um, takes the swing. Uh, that hits. Seventeen. Do an attack and then. Takes then. A second swing. That misses. misses. So, uh, yeah, eight Sigurd slashing on the first one. Attack. Sigurd, yeah, yeah. Your, your held action. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, so. I'll... The first guy that shoots. Mm -hmm. 14. 14 does not hit. No, not with these guys. No, I'll just, uh, I'll go. That was a warning shot. Wh why are you attacking us? Investor, Shatter, Throw, Akabashio, Cleric of Cord, Order of the Gauntlet. We have entered into parlay with the keeper of this tower. Stand down. Okay, make a, well... Is that persuasion or intimidation? Persuasion from from you, I think, on this one. What you're trying. It doesn't matter. They both equally suck. I suck at both of these. I sucked at intelligence. I'm only good at hitting things and healing things. Choices, choices. <laughs> See? Oh shit! Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, no. So, uh, yeah, you. Um, it barely even registers with them that uh, uh, as you're uh, as you're making this uh, plea, as you're floating back down. Okay. Um. Okay, so they need a wisdom save on his part. Just, uh, just the leader, but I'm saying, Oi, mate, stand down. We're part of the gauntlet. We'll talk. Okay, and uh, yeah, you think uh, you think that may have uh, may have worked on that front. So yeah, I think you guys can all reconvene downstairs without bloodshed right now uh, on that front. Hold on. As as Vesser starts. On his way downstairs, he'll kind of walk close to Sigurd, and he'll whisper to him, and he'll say, I'm no good with words, and muddy him up. You're going to have to help with this. Well, you keep talking before me, so... <laughs> Maybe you need to go quicker. I well, think we would just from... get on board with this. I mean... I know, this is all just silly. I like, think uh... just stupid and just... I mean, the dragon isn't even here. We should bring the dragon in at least to... Uh... Otherwise, he's not going to know what's going on, or she. Zephos <laughs> uh, won't let that thing in inside his uh, inside his castle, uh, inside his uh, tower. There's no. Maybe way we this is, this is the problem. Them. This is the problem here, guys. Giants and dragons just do not get along. No, he, uh, they basically say um, uh, we we can't we can discuss this uh, on the ground in tribal. Yes. Uh, uh, however, we. Um, uh, yeah, we'll take you guys down there ourselves. Uh, you can uh, you can meet with the uh, the marshals down there and explain the position. So as you um, as you actually come in, um, you come in for a landing down uh, on the on the far outskirts of the uh, of the town. Uh, even as uh, even even as the dragons actually coming in, there is um, uh, the clanging of uh, uh, of some sort of bell going off as. Uh, as uh, some of the uh, guards are seen running out from some of the uh, the houses uh, nearby, uh, the bottom end of the uh, the bottom end of the town, um, but uh, as they understand what the what the dragon is and uh, it starts to uh, lower down the dwarves, etc., uh, it seems to go fairly peacefully uh, on that front. And um, yeah, basically, uh, the, they talk with the guards for a few minutes. And uh, begin leading you uh, into the into the town. Uh, the dragon uh, holds back. Well, you, you're held in a an, in a waiting room for a few minutes while uh, while the guys say that they're going to uh, 
go and actually find uh, someone that uh, needs to be uh, brought up to speed, which is, uh, you understand that she's quite a big deal in the town uh, called Durathra. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, then a, uh, a, a woman enters the, uh, into the room in long gray, um, leathers, uh, looks like a, looks like a fighter, or, or someone on those sort of lines with dark hair, piercing blue eyes, and, um, she sort of, t- basically takes, uh, uh, takes you all in and, um, looks around the room at you all and says, uh, well, I am to understand that you are the ones, uh, that came from the the giant's tower that's now outside of my my town um can you shed some light on this for me yeah sure so um we were actually on our way here to tribor from westbridge uh we are um we are representatives of the roxica mine Ah, uh, have you heard of them yeah i have heard of that that's uh that's new news in this part um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> maybe all we'll be so lucky is to find a, a, a forgotten mine on our doorstep. Uh, we were walking on the way to Tribal. I see, I had some business in this town, and so does my Goliath friend over there. Uh, this is Vesa, my and Bigby of the Circle of Eight. Uh, this is Sigurd, our, our dwarven friend, and uh, this tiefling woman, is Rita, my apprentice. <laughs> So, we were walking along the road to Tribal when suddenly a staircase revealed itself coming from the bottom of this Cloud Giant's tower. Uh, we ascended the staircase as... Come on, it's a staircase coming down from a cloud. Why wouldn't we <laughs> climb it? Let's be honest with ourselves here. And we started just talking with the Cloud Giant, Zephyros. Where he believes that he has been sent to pick us up and take us north too. He wants to take us to Bryn Shander. After a couple of hours uh, just in his tower, that is when your people from the Lord's Alliance came and he decided to defuse the situation and talk about this peacefully. Now, just so you understand, they're not my people, but... Uh, oh, okay. I do, I do understand the Lord Alliance's uh, worry with what's been going on. Uh, we do hear the reports here ourselves. We do understand. However, I don't condone uh, random actions uh, over the uh, over the air of my city. Says, uh, excuse me, I am Vesser Shatterfo- Shatterfo Akavaccio, cleric of cord of the Order of the Gauntlet, and I uh, <laughs> I conferred with my lord uh, of the storms, and it seemed as if trusting this being was the right thing to do. So, with uh, respect to our wizard friend, I would say that this uh, cloud giant is at least somewhat trustworthy, at least enough that he was worth a talking to. <laughs> well, glad that we could get this all sorted out. Now, on to things that do affect your town. Hmm, indeed. Where might I find the ever web with an inn? The inn? Oh, that place. I have been sent from Waterdeep to deliver a package. From Radran's Magical Academy, the recipient of this package is staying at the Everweb. Uh, Bigby, when you turn round, uh, make a perception check on Briggs. Okay. On Briggs? Oh man. Yeah, on Briggs. Yeah. Is he in heat or something? Briggs, the NPC. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, perception 12 yeah um, he's gone very quiet um, uh, which is not in, un, totally unnormal for him but um, I mean, I he, don't seems, care. I mean, he, he seems perturbed better. and that's as much as you pick I, up doesn't matter to me if he talks or not let's go Briggs I have a passive perception of 16 do I notice that yeah you pick that up with so Vester will say um, actually my business that Bigby mentioned was with you um, mm, I have a letter from um, Duran Edermath, uh, addressed to you. Then he'll take out the letter and, and he'll give it to her. Excellent, brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, she um, she takes the uh, the letter from you and uh, um, yeah, takes takes. A, please sit and uh, she um, chit chats a little bit as uh, as she's going through it, but uh, she's reading all the uh, the notes and says, "So uh, it, 
you may not know, but uh, that man and I go back a long way. We may work for different groups, shall we say, but um, he, uh, he and I used to do to adventure uh, a long time ago. Uh, I trust that man with my life, and uh, it appears he trusts you with almost the same amount of uh, reverence, which is interesting. He uh, raises an eyebrow to that, but doesn't say anything. Um, yeah, he says I'm to offer you any aid that uh, that I can, but uh, I uh, I need to look into some of the things he's asking about in this uh, in this letter. Uh, can we? Um, can we meet again before you uh, before you leave? There may be Vesser, uh, some info. Vesser Nelson, he says, oh, apparently I only have a day, but uh, mm -hmm. however much of it you need is yours. Mm -hmm. uh, come come here before you uh, before you uh, are, are, are heading out. Uh, Bigby, yeah, you make your way down towards uh, and Rita, obviously. Can I do a bit of a walk and talk? We do a bit of a walk and talk first. You absolutely can. Yeah, you're making your way down from this main uh, main square area, uh, down uh, down one of the main roads that seems to be leading off to this little estate that you've been told about that has the inn. Okay, even I know this, Briggs. I mean, I don't pay you to talk, and I would rather you be all stoic and don't say anything, but all right, what don't you like about that woman? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure he would fill you in, but he he assumes you saw her uh, because of what you said about the certain in, uh, the fire giant incident. So he didn't think he had to bring it up, but he said she was the she was the woman that was there with us. Uh, I didn't see a woman with us. I did come in after you, though. Maybe she was gone by then. You know, all I saw was you on the floor uh, and the fire giant over you. That's all. He said, "Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I ended up on top of her body." Uh, he, uh, she basically says, uh, "Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, we can put in a uh, a call to him and see if he's willing to uh, meet guests. Maybe in the tea room. Maybe yes. they're brothers." <laughs> I will, I will see him in the tea room. Could you please escort me and my retinue? Of course. And she smiles sweetly as she uh, uh, literally leads you uh, down to where the, the tea room is. And uh, yeah, this place is uh, is very, very swanky. This is, should be, uh, you know, this is like the finest of fine fineries around you guys right now. Uh, it's like, uh, it, uh, it's kind of like trying to emulate some of the fancier places in Waterdeep. Uh, but not quite as well done. So I would feel very at home and very in place. Yeah, you feel. You, yeah, you probably feel. This is the most comfortable that Bigby's felt in a while on that front. Absolutely, because mm. it's definitely. And it's not like it's. Um, it's kind of like it's this year's fashions kind of thing of it. It's kind of in that in the right, right form. For oh, in the see. right ballpark. Yeah, it's in the right I ballpark. Have to say, not Mr. as well done, but in the right ballpark. I have to say, Mister, you have emulated the water, the upper commons of Waterdeep quite well. And she said, well, uh, Draven tries uh, quite hard to uh, keep up with the latest fashions, even if we are uh, out here in the sticks, so we say. Um, you really should stay around for the meals. They are quite wonderful. <coughs> uh, after a few <coughs> minutes uh, longer, a, uh, a guy in long red robes um, comes down the... Uh, comes down the main stairway uh, into the tea room. Uh, long white hair, um, yeah, the, the, almost the epitome of what a, 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 a red style wizard would be in your in, in your mind. Uh, fully adorned uh, with the with the golds and the opulence around him, and uh, he crosses uh, crosses over to uh, to meet you. And uh, I assume one of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming well, you, sir, are, uh, are, are Bigby? I see my reputation precedes me. Uh, Who might you be? Are you Harman Kost? I am Harman Kost. Harman Kost. Yes, um, I, I am indeed. Uh, when uh, <laughs> when I received the writ that uh, mm. the spell was going to be delivered by, uh, by yourself, I was uh, <laughs> more than a little dubious. But, uh, yes, you are here, and I assume you have brought... Uh, what has been requested of you? Yes, have you brought what has been requested of you? Indeed, indeed. And he um, he literally uh, um, 
uh, grabs the uh, pouch from uh, from his uh, from his side and he says uh, uh, everything uh, everything's accounted for the onyx statue is then in there and ready to go as well uh, I'm assuming that the uh, this will uh, work well for, uh, for 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 the leader of the uh, of the group and uh, I yes hopefully this uh, scroll will be worth every penny okay with the statue gone I give the bag to Briggs to count. Okay, yeah, Briggs starts uh, 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 marking away on that front for you. As an honorary professor of Radrin's Magical Academy of Water Deep Proper, I hereby can conclude this business and say it complete. I will produce the aforementioned scroll, mm -hmm. and here you go. Okay, brilliant. And uh, yeah, he will uh, literally. Uh, uh, take it, take it from you for a moment, and uh, starts to uh, open it, open it up, and uh, have a look, uh, look, look through it, and uh, and a, a, a smile starts to uh, cross his face after a few moments, and uh, uh, then can he... make an insight check on him. Yeah, you certainly can. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nice. All right, I have zero insight, so eleven. <laughs> eleven. Um, eager. Uh, that's you, you get, I get you at least get that much uh, uh, on that front. Yeah, he wanted that. That's basically yeah. like the average wizard response, like every kind of wizard would. Be yeah, like, I mean, yes. it, yeah, they're going to be intrigued, excited. You get that much from him uh, on that front. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and certainly eager when it's. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, he smiles in your direc direction and uh, says, uh, "Excellent. Uh, well, uh, yes, I will only." Uh, recommend your uh or the academy as highly as i can and obviously with such a prestigious member now uh, 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 and now with them uh, may things only get better for the academy uh, he smiles and says uh, i hope uh, the rest of your time here goes well and uh yeah he seems uh, to be finishing his tea and preparing to leave mm. I turn to Rita and I say, that man has everything coming to him. <clears throat> no that. Noted. <laughs> you say that as, as the uh, as the old guy literally starts to uh, wander off back to his uh, back to his room, slightly tapping the uh, uh, the scroll against his hand as uh, as he's as he's going. Seems very pleased with the uh, with the outcome on that front. But your bit's yeah. going on. That would take time. So Vesser and mm. Sigurd, yeah, you would have time to have gone and uh, um, tried mm. to get something identified at the uh, mm. at this other place uh, on that front. The, apoth uh, the apothecary. Uh, this tarmac guy is there. Um, what are you trying to do to achieve? Knowing what you know what? of the last time you had this, tried to have I this mean, thing we're, identified. We're trying to find out what this box does. Maybe get the last light to ping, which would be cool, but. It still remains closed. They don't want it opened. Yeah, yeah and it's Vesser, still tied closed. And from what Vesser saw last time with the identification, um, he would be honest with whoever was trying to identify it with what it did last time. So I mean, they're dubious uh, off the bat, but you'd have to offer them money to do this. Uh, yeah, like how know. much do you want, man? Uh, fifty gold. They want. I look at Vesser and like, should, do you want to go? halves i mean they don't they don't have just like 50 gold to be shelling out yeah Beth besser uh absolutely would he he doesn't even answer you he's reached inside of his uh belt pouch and grabs 25 gold nice okay yeah so the uh the old man uh, that runs the shop uh, literally does the identify spell and the exact same thing happens as uh as last time the third the light, three lights the now. third light on the box is lit and um yeah he he at that point he's kind of like yeah, this yeah this is uh, if, if this is dealing thing with things like this this is not a good a good item oh yeah i mean let's go see is there any other uh taverns here oh there's plenty of different taverns around yeah you know that there's uh, uh he he points you to uh, uh another one uh not that far away from where you guys are called uh Gwaron's slumber uh, that's uh, a little bit less upmarket than uh, the other place that, uh, that's yeah, nearby. Let's, let's try in there then quickly, shall we? Shall we just have a yeah. little look around. He did say to search for him in a tavern, didn't he? But as we leave the Evo weapon, um, uh, to I go to Mistra, I hand her 50 gold. Hmm. 
and I tell her, I will be having dinner tonight. I would like it for you to make that a very vocal. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And she gets uh, gets the idea. <laughs> Announcement. Bigby is having Bigby dinner. Having dinner. <laughs> that is literally he what I'm doing. Bigby. Bigby. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I am to be your guest of honour. Make it very clear. Indeed, indeed. Davian would be more than happy to be able to uh, have have someone of your esteemed nature. And she starts to just pour it on uh, uh, on that front. It seems to be her uh, spiel for dealing with uh, with with uh, with the type. You've heard that okay. uh, pattern before. About fifty feet, about fifty feet down the road, I might turn Bruce and Rita like we're never going there again. It's probably as as you've uh, actually as you've actually been saying that to those two uh, that you do spot Vesa and Sigurd uh, coming down the road uh, as well. Uh, you seem to all be almost in the same general general direction at that point, and you're uh, crossing paths. No, we're going to the tavern. You guys want to come? And grab a drink. Yeah, okay. They have rooms for the night. I mean, probably a place is huge. There's got to be a place to sleep. Sounds good to me. Vesser will ask the uh, the barkeep if there's, uh, even though he knows it's against the odds, basically, but he'll ask if there's a, a Temple of Cord in this town. Uh, yeah, but he basically um, suggests that that's, again, yeah, <laughs> not, not something for, uh, you see a lot of down this, uh, this far south. Uh, mm -hmm. He says you probably... Uh, you need to go a few towns north before you start getting anywhere, anything uh, anything on that uh, sort of a range. He'll thank him for that and say, what about a, a shrine of luck? Yeah, Timora, yeah, there is, uh, yeah, there is, uh, there are, uh, there are things to Timora here. That's, uh, that's certainly to... If it's not terribly late, Vesser would probably go check out the, the temple of luck. Yep, yep, you can, you, uh, the, as some of the other guys are, uh, uh, getting further into their uh, cups, you actually do uh, uh, make your way over over mm -hmm. there on that front, and uh, yeah, you do find the, the uh, shrine. It's next to the uh, the large graveyard mm -hmm. on the uh, on the end uh, end of the actual town uh, on off on Ooh. one side. Um, oh, seems to be fun. a less uh, a less prominent area on uh, on that front. But uh, I need you to make a perception check as you walk through the. Um, through some uh -oh. of the past, some of the stones and things around the area. Twenty-three. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, oddly, every, most things look normal uh, for a graveyard in that front. But every so often, you pick up um, a glyph in giant, um, uh, the symbol here, or uh, or something scratched on a rock there. Um, there are some giant runes around within the within the within the uh within the graveyard which is a bit strange uh you find a, a an older gentleman that seems to be running the um uh the shrine he seems to be uh uh praying or something uh, near one of the fonts uh when you arrive uh yeah so uh yeah he uh he spots your uh arrival and uh ah oh, welcome weary traveler what can i uh do for you on this night uh, he'll say, uh, day. strength and honor, grandfather. Uh, I am Vesser uh, Shatterfo Akavashio, cleric of Cord, and member of the Order of the Gauntlet. Um, I have worked with uh, one of your lot in Westbridge, uh, a sister, uh, Gariel, and I just came to pay my respects to your temple as uh, my lord is not this far south in the land. Yes, yes, is uh I can tell from uh, your wares that you're um of uh, of a different faith, but uh anyone is welcome uh, welcome here. Please, please sit uh, and meditate. May uh may you find what you seek. Um so he'll he'll uh sit at the temple and he'll pray briefly to um the, the, this, this temple's uh, uh, Timora, um, just to show respect, and then he'll uh, go to Cord, uh, and then jump over like as far. It, it's hallowed ground, basically, is what he was just looking for. Yeah, fair enough. Been, you can make a religion. He has been at his own temple. Yeah, he hasn't been at his own temple in a long time, so no problem at all. Eighteen. Um, yeah, you um, you you don't get as strong a reaction as you did last time, but you certainly uh, 
you feel that the last few times you've been being able to pray, you've you really have been able to get much much stronger connection with him, and um, mm. it starts to dawn on you that might actually be to do with the thing that's strapped to your back right now. That maybe now that you have that item, then and, and it's in in the form it's in. You feel that your connection might actually be stronger now with your guard than it has been in, in the past. And it starts to dawn on you that, um, yeah, it might be a bit more of a holy relic uh, to to your guard than you uh, may have given it credit for. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, you. Um, I, think, I think when you're actually there, you start to see the, uh, mm-hmm. the gem starts to... Uh, um, pulse with a, a little bit of red light in the, inside it as you're, as you're praying there. Okay, cool. Uh- um, but yeah, Vesa rejoins you for, for the evening and uh, yeah, you uh, while away your uh, your time there, guys. Vesa's like very quiet and contemplative just to give you guys a heads up. He's not ready to really talk about what he found yet, but he's, he's quieter than usual. Hmm. Okay, okay. There are two goats. I will, I will check uh, which one it is, okay. but on that one. I would really like, I think we might call it here, guys, because I really feel like uh, yeah, I want Briggs I back for the next up. bit, uh, <laughs> is, the, is the honest truth, uh, especially as you're going to be starting to ask questions.